Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Cold Waters episode number 8. I had just rewatched episode number 5. That was the one when the last one I did before going to port when I was diving down to 1300 feet with 50% hull. Boy, I don't really recommend doing that. Um yeah. Uh so anyways, I don't even remember what our mission is. I wanted to actually change the difficulty to make sure it's on elite, but um, first, let's just take a look at our orders here. Satellite photos show an enemy battle group armed to the teeth with cruise missiles. This is going to be a fun one. So it's preparing to sail from Camrem, and they're going to the Pratt, the where are they going? So yeah, Spratly Islands. So locate and sink them, huh? All right. Well, we can do our best. How about that? Will you reward us trying our best? Do you reward effort? What if we fail, but we tried really hard? Um, let me just try to see if there's a... I think I have to change the options outside of the game, but... That's fine, actually. Fine, detect me. I don't... I want to go after these submarines, actually, since... Well, we've got nothing else to do, right? Come and get me! Oh, there's one. Oh, we'll go for him. Got him, I think. I don't see anything, so. Um, 29289. And battle stations? On sound, rig ship for ultra quiet. Oh, this is very loud. 289, 289. So expect on. There he is. Bearing. To come left to 230. Helm I. It's pretty quiet. We on expect to see the submerged contact. contact. Two, three. Six designated Sierra two. Con Romeo. Sonar, Sierra one is classified That's as not too bad. submerged submarine. Let's get out of the way of our toad. Come left to one seven nine helm I. Oh, we got a lot of activity here. Just check to see what's. This looks like a merchant though. I'm just gonna go right for it. You start to remember these things after a while, and I'm totally wrong. So what is this then? It's a blue whale. Well, okay, blue whale. Well. I'll take it. Biologic. Okay, it's probably not anything else, so it must be a merchant. Merchant Sonar. is. Sierra 3 is classified as merchant. Um, signature 4. 200 feet. Probably also. What are we doing, by the way? Oh. Passing 200 feet, so. I think I accidentally put my dive planes down. I didn't mean to do that. Didn't really care. It doesn't matter. Actually, it's kind of nice to drop a little bit. Oh, that Romeo is very, very close. Identify this one first just to make sure that there's nothing else. Oh my. Well, that scared me. Still scary. Con, helm, steady course. Okay, good. I think it's just a merchant. Con, sonar, Sierra, four. Is Did we get everyone? As merchant. Yeah. So let's actually come helm into right the baffles two, of this two, Romeo two, if possible. I, helm, I. And that's the only thing we care about now. Our solution is 95%. Pretty good. If he goes active, he's going to detect us. And he's close enough with passives that, yeah. Come right to two, one, zero, so we'll play a little nine. game with him called Get Into Your Baffles, which he is obliging us very nicely. Thank you so much. Um, Con, helm, steady course. Okay. I guess we'll just do this. His depth. Same, basically same. Co, co, uh, depth with us. Come we'll go this two, way. One, seven, one, one sec. We got the all clear. So I probably should. I, I don't know what the best way of doing this is. By the way, I kind of imagine we should. Uh, well, let's do something like this. Oh, good thing we did that, by the way, because he's turning that way. 
I didn't even intend to keep it in the the proper cone, but we also did that. I just wanted to maneuver it away so that if he does counter launch, he counter launches in the wrong direction. But fortuitously, he also ended up turning to basically keep his stern directly facing my torpedo. And that's going to make his life very, very difficult. Now, the only good news about this is when he decides to deploy a noisemaker, it's going to be perfectly in line. So I look back on episode 5, as I said, I was... Um, yeah, I was just looking at how how I was doing with the 50% damage diving way too deep. Something I... I haven't gotten the comments for that video yet, but I'm sure that people rightfully are going to say, you're just nuts, why would you do that? I understand. Uh, but another thing is... God, something. Fire control. Weapon acquired. There, was some, there was something else I wanted to say. <laughs> uh, mostly it was about making sure that I actually uh, keep my ship above okay, there's the launch, there's the counter launch oh yeah, 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 I was thinking about the noisemakers so the last torpedo that came in um, from the helicopter before the actual are we detectable by the way? no um, the last torpedo which came in from the helicopter um, before I got to the amphibious invasion fleet, that one, I actually deployed a noisemaker, and I guess I could control this directly. Sure. Weapon acquired. Oop, countermeasure home. Not even see him. <laughs> see him. <laughs> and their torpedo is very, very far off the mark. Uh, they were actually out of the water. <laughs> Maybe they were trying to abandon ship. It's pretty smart if they were. Now, I'm going to go ahead and assume that that was everything that we're going to face over here. I don't think that their torpedo is going to be... Close enough to give us any problems. But you know, we'll do our due diligence here and try to lead it towards the blue whale. Yeah, so the, the decoy I deployed in, the torpedo, it still hit, I think you remember it hit around here. So the decoy was behind us, but it did not distract from the torpedo. Um, there was just nothing I could do. And the like amazing thing is, when we were in the actual amphibious landing mission, um, the plane dropped a, two torpedoes in the first... No, 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 it was the helicopter that dropped the second torpedo, and that one didn't acquire. That was when our propulsion was broken. So it's really kind of this amazing... We, we, we actually got very lucky. We should have... We could have... I don't know if we would have died. I still don't think that a submarine should be able to take two torpedoes, much less... I'm not even sure if it should take one. But I'll leave that up to the game experts. So I'll... But, I'll make sure I'm on the hardest difficulty elite um, in between this episode and the next one. For now, let's go back over to the Spratly Islands, having been detected by that satellite. Uh oh. Please tell me I was right clicking. I don't think I was. This is probably the big thing, and we're going. Oh, we are. Yes. I did get the right click in in time. Ooh, thank goodness. Okay, so it's new sonar contact 214. This is, I'm imagining, the big one. We'll take the MOS. I think we will probably deploy a MOS if it ends up being that. Okay, uh, weak surface duct, weak thermal layer, but it should be deep water. Our hole is at 100%, so nothing to fear. Let's do it. 184, 214. Rig ship for ultra quiet. So they are just west of us, southwest, just west of south of us, I should say. Let's come a little Go bit left east two, just one, to clear our four, toad. Four. Helm, I. We're getting nothing so far, Does that so mean? New contact bearing. Two, four, okay, it's four, actually, I like this amount of noise. One. 
Con sonar, new contact bearing. Two, two, seven. Yeah. Designated Sierra. Two. Whoa, we have a Lu Hu, which is my least favorite Con thing to sonar, see. Sierra one is classified as escort. So we'll be using our our uh, Moss in this one. Con sonar. John Sierra three. two is classified as escort. Oh, this might have been just. Come right to okay, we're not going to use our mosque because this six, was just a, an escort group. Okay. Let's just see how. Okay, their toad ray is just about to pick us up. Come left to zero eight four helm I. Um, they're pretty far away otherwise. Yeah. That toad array really scares me. And they do have a helicopter. Well, that's not surprising. These escort groups usually do. I don't see myself anywhere, which is good news. Okay, so what's our plan here? Continue to acquire a better solution on the Luhu? I wonder if the zero means it's not functioning or something because it's not changing. Come right to one, seven, zero, helm I. Pretty close to the surface. Let me actually take us down to 250. Well, 200, because I don't know if we want to go below the layer or not. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. It's a beautiful night out. I really like that 84. <laughs> I like that. It's noisy enough that we can take advantage of our better uh, passive detective passive detection as in it's not so quiet that everyone can hear it's just noisy enough that pretty much only we can hear that's the way I think about it okay we're getting a better range on the Luhu and it's still a ways out there Never prepare three torpedoes for surface launch. And one thing we could do is dive below. I, f I feel like their toad array would be below the layer. That's why I'm like not sure what I want to do Con, about this. Helm. Steady course. So what if we go down to 250? Does the toad array suddenly kick in? Or do they not have theirs deployed? Are they going too fast? Maybe it's that. I mean, they wouldn't be able to hear much with the toad array. <laughs> Going this fast anyway. We do need to close before we can really do anything. Actually, I think this going to minus 50 was just a function of us going below the duct, going below the layer. Wow. She's almost as far away as you can be. Well, we're going to need to <laughs> take a lot of time to catch up. The Jonggu is a long ways off as well. Okay, so let's just move forward. They went active. Why would they go active? Yeah, they did slow down a lot. I think it was just their speed. Come left to 166 six, Helm I. 21,000, I think we can do 21,000. Okay, we cannot hit the Jonggu from where it is. 
So we're actually going to have to rely on hitting the Luhu and hoping the Zhanggu comes for us. Which is a little bit awkward. <laughs> In fact, the Luhu might actually be able to get away from us just by doing these maneuvers. So, I think we have to launch a torpedo. I'm going to launch it like right here, just in case that we lose the wire. Since we didn't, now I can do some funny stuff with it. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 2, last bearing 2, 0, 8, contact faded. I don't have time to play games too much, like I want to guide it in from a different angle. I'm going to have to kind of rely on us just being undetectable and them not knowing where it's coming from. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra 2, bearing 2, 0, 8. Let's look at this thing. Oh, wow. Yeah, well... That helicopter is the main thing. I imagine when this torpedo hits that she's going to start wanting to know where we are. So far, I don't see us anywhere in vision range of the helicopter. Which makes me very, very happy. <laughs> I actually don't even see the ship. I don't even see the ship, so th I think that's really far away, whatever, wherever it is. Okay. She has detected something. I'm a little bit nervous. Make, make turns for one, zero, not maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering, making turns for one, zero, not. Just in case. <laughs> okay, it hit way ahead of us, which is great. Yeah, we're still pretty much undetectable. Which is the good news. Con, helm, steady course. She is turning towards us, which is good. It's going to give our torpedo a little bit of extra life going towards her. We'll go down to 500 feet just to give myself a little more time. Also, I don't know where the helicopter is, so it'll buy me a little bit of time in case. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, this is... she's going right to the Luhu now. So I'm just going to rely on the... on the tr um, torpedo to do its thing. Chose the wrong way to go. Let's correct her. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Good. I think that helicopter is headed towards us. Um maybe not. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. The idea was to get deep one. enough that it wouldn't matter. Exactly a midship. Up. Oh, no, it didn't report it that way, did it? No, not at all. I might have misseen. I thought it was... Uh, it's also a very bad place to, to take a torpedo. I don't know if this is a particularly good place to take a torpedo, but... Yeah, I really actually don't know. where. <laughs> it's uh, just a whole bunch of bad options.
So we will reload this, and then after we're done with that, rig for silent running and wait for come this right Jongu to come eight, in range. Six, helm I. Come right to one six seven helm I. Con helm steady course. There's only one thing left, just to wait. Wait for this thing to get close, and then fire, and we're out. We'll fire this one because it's already ready. We're going to wait on this one as well. So probably can launch now. Because she's coming right at us. And we won't let our torpedo activate until she's pretty much all the way there. Should save her from being detected. Okay, that's about right. Surprise! Weapon acquired. So I kept her under the layer. To, uh, this is what people had already advised me to do. I kept her under the layer to try to disguise her so that she didn't wasn't able to react in time. And I think it's going to work out very well. Okay, good. So as long as we aren't being attacked at this very moment, that was a mission. Then we can probably just vacate the premises. Now that turns out that helicopter doesn't know where we are still. And this one's going down. I just want to make sure she sinks, just because I want to make sure I get credit for it. Okay. Okay, good. Let's leave combat. Ah, there was a Romeo that was undetected. Well, that's a bummer, but that's also fine. We'll let one go. Excellent job, Commander. Your neutralization of this high-priority target was... Oh, that was it? Will severely reduce the enemy's ability to hinder trans-Pacific convoys. Sync Pack sends regards to you and your crew for their orders to be transmitted on the down on this down lake. Well, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> that was just another patrol, in my view. Well, it turns out that wasn't the same view of the Navy. They gave us the Distinguished Service Medal. For exceptionally meritorious service as Commanding Officer, USS Seawolf, Tortuga Power's steadfast devotion and superior tactical decisions have consistently brought success to his unit in action. His conduct reflects great credit upon him, this command, and is, keep and is in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Good, good, very good. Safe transit by convoys. Cargo ships from North America and Japan continue to ferry goods into the region with minimal losses. This has been attributed to efficient cooperation among allied naval forces. The convoy system worked in World War I and World War II and it still works today, a spokesman for the Pentagon said. Ah, no, they didn't even pay lip service to the silent service. Meanwhile, in the region, food and material shortages have failed to materialize in the unoccupied territories. Authorities urge citizens not to make runs on the banks, but instead show restraint so that the financial system can remain functional despite the ongoing conflict. This doesn't really make sense. Food and material shortages have failed to materialize? Did they mean... So saying everything's fine? Then why would you have to urge people not go to the bank. I don't know. Intelligence has discerned a pattern to movements of enemy at sea replenishment tankers and tenders. A small enemy force including one or two of these ships is expected to sail from Ningbo momentarily for a rendezvous somewhere in the East China Sea. Boo. You are ordered to find and sink this ship. You may also get a chance at the enemy warships and this group is intended to support but tenders and tankers are the mission target. Duly noted. R and U. Do they use that in the Navy? Um, yeah, so let's just continue on course. I don't like the fact that it's going to be nice and shallow there. That's why I booed. Oh man, there's so many. Well, let's do this. <laughs> we'll take them all on. <laughs> yeah, we got enough sub. We got enough torpedoes. One at a time now. 
306. for ultra quiet. Okay, pretty quiet. Do you have a layer we can go blue, below? Two, six, six. Designated Sierra, two. This one is a merchant. Con sonar, new contact bearing. Three, one, three. It's busy, Designated huh? Sierra, three. Con sonar, oh, new man. contact bearing. Two, nine, nine. Designated Sierra, four. Ooh, it's a Han. Con sonar, Sierra, two. Is classified as submerged submarine. She's close, too. Oh, what the hell is this? Merchant? Oh, he has a humpback whale. Sierra Con Helm, steady course. Um, Sierra Four, which is another humpback Con whale. Sonar. Sierra Four is classified as biologic. And something else, which is probably. A Oh, wow. How is it not any of these? I thought for sure. But it looks like it's just going to be another merchant. Maybe? Trawler. Okay, good. Con sonar. Sierra 5 is class. Come left to 333. Three, three. Helm I. Okay, well, this thing is close. The Han is semi noisy. So, the fact that... I thought she was close to detecting us. Oh, she's just below the layer. She must just have dipped below the layer. I wonder if they do the thing where you can let your... I don't think they have it modeled where your toad ray can drag below the layer while you're above it. Which is something you can do in Command Modern Operations. Which is not a specifically a submarine game, but I, I often do use it <laughs> that way. I love I love playing as just a single submarine in command. It's it's fun. Come left to so we're gonna come two, in pretty two, sharp two, angle two, to two, minimize nine. any active detection profile, but I don't expect that we'll have to you know worry about that. Come left to two six six helm I. Con helm steady course. What? Why are they cavitating? Oh my god. Okay. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering I. Come left to two four four helm I. It's time to sprint and drift. This thing's supposed to be pretty noisy. I'm relying on that. Make depth five zero zero eight dive up. Make turns for two zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con. Con maneuvering. Losing everything, but we need to get after this Han, which is currently going the wrong way. We're gonna find out very quickly if she's actually alone. Meanwhile, let's brush up on her. Chinese version, digital performance B. Uh, no, I wanna read that. B, Q, Q, Math 5, Mana Han, see a class. I still know where this merchant is, for some reason. She's not flying any flag. Oh wait, she is. It's not a friendly one. Well, I guess... No, wait, this isn't even the South China Sea. Alright, well, we're zipping along now. 
we're gonna slow down very 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 soon see if we can see anything hear anything from the Han how close have we gotten I mean that's very far away Okay, let's try it. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Come left to two, three, one. Open Come up the right. toad array, etc., etc. Con sonar regained contact on. Spool Zero, out five, the toad array. Baron, I don't know what two, they. How one, do they say it? Six. Deploy the toad array. Helm, steady course. Reel in, reel out. Thank goodness three, we've reestablished contact of the humpback whale. Regained contact on Sierra two bearing this two is five apparently, nine. Apparently they have to breathe or something. They're very Con close to the surface. Contact on Sierra four, bearing so there's the Han. Three, zero, six. Still in her baffles. Would like to get a better solution, but how far away is she now? Gosh, she's so far away. Um, she's just about to go above the layer. That would actually be good for us right now, so we can zip in on her. Yeah, good thing we didn't start zipping. I don't know what her speed is. 10 knots? Would that be true? Con, helm. Okay. This is interesting. This is this is good. This is good news. We know which way she's looking. 30,000. Still a long way off. I mean, at this point, we actually could try to launch at her. Um, with the benefit being that we could launch above the layer, have the torpedo acquire her below the layer. So long as she stays below the layer, she should have a harder time detecting our torpedo. So we're about to not be able to hear her as well. Up oh, there, I saw a jump from minus three, minus twenty-three ish to minus seven twenty-nine, minus twenty-nine. That means I guess we have officially started to transition through the layer. It's not that big of a difference, but I mean, I guess you'll take anything, right? Every little bit counts. 28,000 yards is really far, which would also give us plenty of time to maneuver away. I'm going to close a little bit still. And then we're going to open ourselves up. Oh, wait, wait. She's gonna show us her rear. Make turn. Make turns for one, five knots. Maneuvering eye. Come right to two, five, five. Helm eye. Make turns for two, zero. All right, nine. let's let's maneuvering play catch up. Con maneuvering. Making turns for two, zero knots. Four three zero. Make turns for three five knot. Maneuvering eye. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing two five seven. Contact faded. Con dive at five zero zero feet. Dive by. All right. I don't know when they're where they're turning or whatever. So I'm gonna slow back down to Make twenty knots to reduce my noise two, a little bit. Zero knot. We can Maneuver sprint at eye. twenty. It's fine with me. I do like the fact that we're going to be going basically passing with the trawler. It's quite nice. All right, let's um, go ahead and bring our go back above the layer. Make depth two, five, zero feet, dive by. Slow down and Make turn to the one, five, port side just to clear our towed array. 
So again, deploy it. What Bring we want to do. Reestablished her. We must be close now. No, Counter not really. Well, reading. we don't know actually. On Sierra four, bearing three, two. Let's see as she goes. Con sonar regained contact on Sierra three, bearing make depth three zero zero feet. Die by. Okay, what do you got? Con sonar regained contact on Sierra one, bearing three five. We're actually taking zero. this nice and slow. Just one of those rare episodes where Tortuga does things a little bit more by the books. Um, I think she's still sprinting. Yeah. Come right to two, six, four. Helm, I. Let's just Make do it myself. Five, zero. Make turns for two, zero knots. Oh. Make turns for one. I'm just turning five, this way. Knots. Make turns for one, zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Passing four hundred feet. Come right to. Two, she can seven, almost four, detect four, us. Nine. How about just putting a turn? Ah, man, she's just hanging at the edge of range, though. Con, helm, steady course. Oh, we can still use our tow rate at 10 knots? I didn't know that. Oh, wow. She's much closer. <laughs> Well, she's going to hear us, so what we're going to do is dive below the ordinance when it comes. It's worth a shot right now, already. But again, let's get above the layer. Nice and slow now, now that we have her. The Han! And this Han is Solo. Han Solo. Maybe, actually. There could be another one out there. <laughs> I don't actually know that. I think we've crossed the layer, so let's go ahead and launch. How much distance do we have? Yeah, we can. I think we can play games with this one. Yeah, we'll do it that way. That's fine. Come left to one nine eight. Helm I. Come left to two one four. Helm I. Kind of wish I had done this the other way. I should have done it, you know, that way. But because then it would have been more in line with the trawler. Come left to two one two. Helm I. But that's okay. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Yep, it looks like minus 20 is the around the point where they can not detect that you launched. The launch transient. Things should be really noisy. I don't think they modeled this, but things would be really noisy with a trawler right over our head. Yeah, it's coming from that angle now. She's going to detect, and how fast can she go? 25 knots. Pretty fast. This is a nuclear submarine, by the way. Let's see where those are going. Perfect. I think we're okay. Come left to 
Yeah. She's gonna know where we are now, but she already launched. I don't know. Will she correct? I don't think so. Alright. Just to be safe, let's make my depth 800 feet. Make depth 800 feet, die by. Yeah, she already knows where we are, so. No point in waiting around with the torpedo. Yeah, I think we're actually going to be okay against those. Come left to one, four, nine, L9. She probably has us with the active now. But she's going to have other problems to deal with in a moment anyway, so... Maybe she just doesn't care. <laughs> we're about to get her. She's probably getting up to speed, huh? 25 knots. She's already there. Well, that was kind of a fun way to play it, but I feel like mission accomplished. This one's gonna. This one's already in the bag. Con helm, steady course. Just want to annoy her. Let her hear the pinging. Con, fire control. What con sonar? Noise maker. Bearing two, four, six. Con, should fire I... control. Weapon acquired. I was gonna say, should I actually help? <laughs> Let's go up to ten knots. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Con, maneuvering. Making turns for one. Yeah, those zero. do not like they're gonna do not look like they're gonna find me. We have acquired. Con, sonar. Noise maker. Bearing. And we have a hit. Alright, so all we need now is wait for these torpedoes to miss us. Con, dive at eight zero zero feet, dive by. They were U5. These are pretty dangerous torpedoes, I think. Uh, 18,000 yards is not that far. Probably see them go pretty quickly. Will they acquire the merchant? <laughs> oh, whoop. Not this one. Oh my gosh, it's right underneath of it. Well, just wait till you see this explosion. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that captain just... Uh, I hope he's wearing his brown pants, because if he isn't, they're brown now. <laughs> uh, very good. Return to mission objective immediately. I'm probably going to get caught by this one. I did pause. And it's been 42 minutes, so we'll bring this episode to a close and we'll jump back into the action in the next video. I will, in the meantime, I'll save and quit and make sure I'm playing on Elite. So, uh, until the next one, thanks for watching and take care. Damn it.